questions to me throughout the entire presentation. At any time, you can send a question in, and I'll try to get to it either right away or uh, push it off to the end, where we have a little bit of time set aside specifically for a Q&A. Let's go ahead and get started. Here's our agenda for today. We're going to begin with a brief company overview of Inspection Expert and DCS, then go into some of the benefits of a QDM system for an organization, followed by how Inspection Expert can simplify quality document authoring, and then how these two can combine together to quickly and efficiently create quality reports in a matter of minutes. Then I'd like to show you some live demonstrations of the software, beginning with Inspection Expert and creating a template, bringing that into QDM, navigating and selecting your particular data set, and then using those data sets to populate your templates to create your report. And then at the very end, like I mentioned, we'll have some time set aside for a Q&A. So Gretchen, if you don't mind, could you begin us today with a quick overview of Inspection Expert? Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much, Ben. So Inspection Expert, uh, companies use Inspection Expert to help with automating their quality inspection documentation. So the ability to create standard or custom reports for first article, AS9102, PPAP, etc. And we do that by working with, uh, uh, with 2D drawings in, for example, PDF or even in various CAD formats or with 3D CATIA models and pulling information from those to very quickly create your balloon inspection prints and your inspection report forms. This kind of gives you a little bit more of a visual representation of how we do that. So on the left hand side you can see that this is really where uh, companies that are not using a tool like Inspection Expert, what you're probably doing is you're hand entering or hand writing information into your inspection report forms and you're hand ballooning an inspection print and that's what you're providing to your inspectors to actually uh, capture their measured values and, and provide the, the completed inspection report. But if you're using a tool like Inspection Expert, you're able to automate the ability to add balloons to your drawing or to your model and, and as you're uh, adding balloons to your drawing or model, we're extracting all of the relevant inspection information, your nominals, tolerances, uh, inspection notes, etc., so that you can publish them instantly into uh, the QDM application to capture your uh, measured values and or to uh, AS9102 or other types of Excel-based inspection reports. Excellent. Thank you. So real briefly on DCS, DCS is a quality assurance company providing quality solutions. Two primary solutions are variation analysis software called 3DCS and our QDM system which is a web-based quality management system that includes a number of different modules to custom build it to your particular needs. So as you can see here, we've got the QDM system, which we'll be focusing on today, and our 3DCS suite of products for tolerance analysis and design optimization in a CAD environment. So QDM being a, a quality data management system that allows you to bring in information, quickly monitor in real time, and you're through dashboards and through um, report generation, what, why would this be particularly useful to a company? We understand that you can make reports and such, but what does this really mitigate? How does this, how does this improve my current processes? Well, for one thing, if you've got too many manual processes, QDM allows you to automate through those. So if you have a lot of different reports that you have to make by hand, they can often take a week or two of your time, you can automate all of those report, uh, all that report creation. So you can collect all of your data in, you can create a template, and you can use that template to automatically create reports over and over again with different data sets. If you have haphazard, inconsistent information and insights, so you're getting in a whole bunch of different kinds of information, and it's difficult to compare and contrast. You might have a number of different inspection devices that are inspecting completely different aspects of your parts and components, and it can be difficult for you to compare that information to really get an understanding of how your manufacturing processes are doing. With QDM and your dashboards, you can get a very quick overview of how all your processes are performing, as well as using QDM systems, such as Data Grabber, to pull in all of your or inspection information, to standardize it so it's easy to compare and contrast, and then you can populate your reports with it to see how your production and manufacturing is performing. Oftentimes, our analyses just take too long. By the time we've 
produce information from our data, it's old and it's no longer useful for the problems that have, that have come along. With QDM, all of your information is real time. So as the problem is beginning, as that trend in your manufacturing process starts, where products are starting to move towards the upper or lower spec limit, or there's an outlier or issue pops up in your manufacturing process, that information is immediately available. You can drill down to specific machines, times, operators, and plants to find out when that trend began and why it's continuing. This allows you to problem solve, root cause analysis, uh, create root cause analysis, and to quickly get to the, the, the root and the, pro, the, the core of the problem. Whereas we all know that's oftentimes the most difficult task when an issue arises. It's where does that issue begin and how do I really solve that issue quickly and efficiently? Finally, everyone collects data. This is the, the day of big data, right? Everyone's collecting tons and tons of information. We all know we're supposed to collect data. We collect it from all of our inspection devices. We have manual uh, Excel form inputs. We're pulling it from our suppliers. Everyone's collecting tons and tons of data, but oftentimes we need a little bit of information, very particular. We're just not sure exactly where that is. We didn't know how a particular part is performing, or we need to catch a particular issue um, within that data itself. So QDM allows you to quickly drill down and find the information you're looking for so you don't get bogged down in all the excess and all the large big data information that you've collected. So going over again in summary how QDM solves these issues, is QDM really delivers real-time quality intelligence. It's information that you can use now when it's still pertinent to what's going on. It does this by automating your collection of inspection information and quality data. It brings all this in through our data grabber technology that allows you to automatically and automate the pickup of all the information to bring it into your server. It'll analyze, standardize, and deliver that data as actual information, which means it's doing a lot of your work for you. It, this allows you to use it as a powerful problem mitigation tool. It also allows you to create reports automatically. So every Monday morning when I come into work, I can have the previous week's information already sitting on my desk in my inbox waiting for me. So let's take a look again and how this all works together visually. So we begin with all of our collection devices. You can see a portable arm here, handheld device, CMM machine. All these are connected to QDM and the information that they put out is automatically brought into your QDM system and filtered so that way moves into a standardized, easy to analyze format. At the same time, we use our tool QDM3D, we're now inspection expert, to author a template. That template is brought into QDM as well. Now we can select any of our data sets that we've brought in in any of our templates and we can combine them together to create reports. So when I query the database, when I query QDM, I want a specific data set and I have a specific report I want to see. So for today's example, we're looking at a specific part and I need to create a first article inspection report or a PPAP for that part. So I'm going to query the database and it's going to take that selected set of data and the template of created an inspection expert and it's going to populate that template to produce my report that I can view then on any mobile device or any of my desktop computers regardless of where I am in the world as long as I have access to a secure web browser. So who's using DCS's quality solution? As you can see here, there are a number of large OEMs using our solutions that are in a, a number of different industries. We have uh, consumer electronics, we have heavy industry, a lot of automotive and aerospace. So this is a proven tool that's been used and is being used by a lot of large name and large companies that are globally set. So they're using it throughout multiple plants throughout the world. It's also being used just at single plants as QDM is a scalable system based on what your needs and your demands are. Being set up as a modular system, it allows you to combine as many parts and components as you need to accomplish your goal. Gretchen, do you mind speaking for a few moments about Inspection Expert, how it can automate your inspection documentation? 
Absolutely. Thanks again, Ben. So uh, what we talked about earlier is that we are really helping with eliminating a lot of the processes that are currently occurring for our customers, which is they're manually ballooning prints, manually handling all their revisions, they're hand entering inspection data, not only what the balloon numbers and the tolerances, the nominals and all those are, but then ultimately even you know, their, their, uh, their measurement data. Uh, they're manually creating these inspection reports. And so instead of doing that, what inspection experts are able to do is really automate that process of putting the balloons on the print or the model and capturing the data so that you can end up with a, uh, a standard report like an AS9102 or PPAP in just a few minutes, or can create your own custom reports for your customer requirements or for your own internal formats that you want. And the nice thing about it is that because an inspection expert is available uh, with a web browser, you can access it from any web browser, it's very easy to access, very easy to deploy across your organization, so it makes it very easy. Very nice. Thank you, Gretchen. So this just gives on? you a... Go ahead. <laughs> just wanted to say, do you mind to continue on and tell us about who's using Inspection Expert today? Absolutely. So as you can see here, we have a, a wide variety of companies that are using Inspection Expert. We are not only focused uh, in aerospace and automotive, but we also have a, a number of companies in the medical device manufacturing, oil and gas, uh, lots and lots of job shops, machine shops, contract manufacturers that use our tools to really automate their processes and across from large organizations to very, very small companies as well. All right, thank you very much. So we're going to take a look at now uh, the actual workflow of how you would create your quality documents using Inspection Expert in QDM. So I'm just going to highlight in brief summary how the workflow is going to go through, and then I'm going to turn it over to Gretchen to begin it um, with Inspection Expert showing us the, the system itself. So this particular workflow, you begin an Inspection Expert where you're going to author your template. You're actually creating your form here that you're going to be using your selected data to populate later on. Once you do create a template, however, you can reuse the template over and over again for different data sets. You can also take those finalized reports and attach them onto your parts in QDM. So you can create a history of different quality documents related to your parts. Second, as I mentioned before, we use QDM to populate those templates. So in order to do so, we have to first collect our quality and measurement data. So QDM uses Data Grabber and now Inspection Expert to pull that information into the QDM system. You can see here a portable control arm, a CMM machine. You can also pull in, as I mentioned before, from an Excel document that's being manually entered in. So QDM can detect when updates are done to that document, automatically draw in the new information. With Inspection Expert, we can pull off your 2D drawings and your PDFs as well. So the information all comes into QDM along with the template. Then you access QDM through our QDM web. This is the web-based um, interface for QDM. It allows you to use uh, any web browser to navigate and select your data. So I can go through and I can drill down to the specific part, plan, program, and I can select a set of data from that particular or program and I can populate my templates with it. And then finally, you're going to export out right into Inspection Expert, your populated template, where you're going to do just some final touch-ups in Inspection Expert and then produce your uh, PPAS, AS9102s, and first article inspection report for final use. And then once those are produced, you can of course always turn around and bring those right back into QDM and attach them onto your parts and programs so you can use QDM to organize those final reports and keep track of them. So historically you won't lose any of your documents and they'll all be travel along with your parts and programs. So to get us started, I'm going to go ahead and turn the presentation over to Gretchen so she can show us an inspection expert how you can author and create one of these templates. Hi right, Gretchen, I'm going to pass it over your way. Awesome, thanks so much Ben. No problem. All right, and hopefully in just a second you'll be able to see my screen. Can you see that okay? All right, wonderful. Excellent. So let me just kind of show you what we're looking at here. I have accessed Inspection Expert on Demand, just uh, logged in from a web browser and, and opened up the Inspection Expert on Demand interface. Inspection Expert On Demand is specifically going to work with PDF and TIFF files. So this is what a lot of uh, our customers, the inspection department, are, are really working with at the end of the day is very often uh, simply a, a PDF or TIFF file. And the problem with a PDF or TIFF file is that it's just a you know, picture image. It's, it's pixels on a page. 
um, it's not, there's not actually a data set underlying here, it's just an, an image. So what we're doing is with Inspection Expert is we're going to use Inspection Expert to add balloons to this print so we know what it is that we need to inspect. And we're going to use the optical character recognition and the uh, uh, logic capabilities within Inspection Expert to take what are the pixels on the page and turn them into letters, numbers, values, nominals, tolerances, etc. so that we can very quickly then when we're done ballooning, have data that can be published into QDM or directly into an AS9102. So that's basically what we're going to do here. So let me go ahead and get started by capturing, uh, say, a couple of these uh, notes here at the top here. I'm going to go ahead and put a balloon on this first one and maybe on this uh, third one as well. And go ahead and get a few dimensions and then I'll show you what's happening after I grab a few of these. So just very quickly clicking and dragging around each one. And you'll see that the balloon gets added. We can move the balloons around if I want, you know, if I want to put them in a different place or move them further away. But what I've done now is I've added these balloons, and each time I've clicked and dragged around something, Inspection Expert has grabbed an image. This is actually a little image capture. And it's turned that image into letters and numbers with our optical character recognition. So we're able to figure out what those pixels represent, what letters and numbers those represent. So it did that for these first two notes. Now when we got into the dimensions, it not only understood from the, uh, the OCR what the numbers are in this dimension, but it also understood which part of that is the nominal value and which part were the tolerance values. So Inspection Experts auto-populated all this information into the proper fields for me, and then it's even calculated my upper and lower limits, which means I didn't really have to do any work other than just sort of select the dimension. And now I've got this entire table of data that I've been building down here that has all my nominals, my tolerances, etc. And I can just kind of keep going, capturing new things. And you can see that Inspection Expert even understands things like what quantity, this is a quantity of two. It says that's 2x must mean a quantity of two. It says, oh, that, that r must mean it's radius. And there's my nominal value, 0.125. But wait a minute, there's not an explicit tolerance here. Uh, there's nothing defined on the drawing. And yet Inspection Expert has added something. And that's because we've set up Inspection Expert with the ability to uh, add default tolerances whenever an explicit tolerance is not defined. So I can set up what the default tolerances are going to be based on the number of decimal places. Or I can uh, even change that so that it's different default tolerances for my angular dimensions versus my linear dimensions. So I can set that up and have Inspection Expert automatically do that work for me. I can also uh, capture geometric tolerances. So if I wanted to pick this GD&T, for example, I can simply uh, select the geometric tolerance, choose my subtype, highlight my numeric value in this uh, GD&T, and press a little camera icon so that it grabs that data, and then add my datums, and I've built up a GD&T as per the drawing. And I can also see that based off of the numeric value and the subtype that Inspection Expert has again calculated my upper and lower limits for me. Now the only thing I notice is that I actually did these a little bit out of order. So I'm going to just go ahead and click and drag in here and I can reorder my balloons just by clicking and dragging or uh, you know, to move them around or cutting and pasting. So now everything's in the proper order, six, seven, and eight feet. I can even decide if I want to add additional types of inspection information. So let's say I want to uh, add the operation, and this is a completely customizable list. So I can say that's maybe a drilling operation, and uh, this is a critical classification. And let me go ahead and assign my uh, inspection method, maybe add some notes, and even make something a key characteristic. And what I've done now is just added all this information. I've changed the balloon because it's now a key characteristic. I can have a unique identifier in my balloon, so I know that that's critical. That could be a C or a CR or an asterisk. It can be anything you want. I just have a small letter K for key. But also, all that information I just added is also now showing up in my table. So I can add this type of information to all of any, any of the characteristics I want. And this data can also then get published up to QDM so that it can be managed in the QDM interface or into your inspection report form. So that's all we're doing as we're going along. So at this point, I could publish to, uh, to QDM, but before I do that, let me go ahead and just make sure you know, what I've captured and what I haven't. 
I obviously not want to don't want to spend the time to bloom the whole print for you. Just want to kind of give you an idea of how this works. So let me uh, show you this hide captures feature. So this hide captures feature, what this does is that just toggles on or off everything that I've captured. So it's whiting them all out if I've captured them, and it's showing me what's left to be captured or extracted or bloomed from this drawing. So that makes it very easy for me to figure out if I if I missed anything. And on a simple print like this, it's probably not too hard to, to miss something, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't expect to miss something. But on a really busy print, which a lot of our customers have, 1,000 characteristics, 1,500 characteristics on these huge prints, um, it might be really easy to miss something while you're going through your print. So this is just a great way to very quickly verify you've got it. I'm also able to turn on a grid, and the grid can actually show me where my balloons are located relative to uh, the grid, and I can customize the way the grid looks or even hide the grid. And when I have that grid enabled, it also means now that it's going to show me the balloons relative, the balloon location relative to the grid, which is very nice. So let me go ahead and turn that uh, on. And then um, last but not least, if I have decided to balloon this print and I actually want to um, handle a revision of this drawing, so normally if I was doing this, I would uh, have ballooned this whole print, and now this is uh, a Rev C4, which is my Rev of this drawing. You can see down here in the title block. What if my customer has now sent me Rev D, and I want to uh, go ahead and pick up pick up the differences on that one as well, and and uh, see what the differences are, and and very quickly handle that revision. So let's show what that looks like. I'm going to go ahead and compare my C revision to my D2 revision right here. And what Inspection Expert is going to do is overlay the two drawings. It's going to color or render my original C2, or sorry, C4 drawing in red, and it's going to render my uh, new D rev as a, a green. And it's going to overlay the two drawings. And everywhere there's a dark color is where everything has lined up and it matches up. So there are no changes in the drawing revs. But everywhere there's a green, light green, that means there's something new. And the red is meaning something that has been deleted or moved. So I can see new, new, this looks like it got deleted and this got moved up. And I can just easily replace the drawing and then go in and add the balloons that I need to add and move the balloons that I need to, to move. So it makes it really easy to handle a revision without having to do a whole lot of work. You know, deleting things, etc. cetera. Delete what I need to delete, renumber the balloons, etc. move things around. So that's a very, very quick way of handling that. At this point, let me go ahead and uh, I would actually export my template to QDM. So let me go ahead and pass this back and so that you can see what this looks like once you get the data into QDM. Thanks, Gretchen. So one thing I just want to bring out as well is all these balloons areas, this information is only going to come into QDM, but that's going to be the areas that are going to be populated within your form in QDM. Is that correct? So yes, absolutely. So what we're doing is we're just eliminating. Yes, I just had put myself on mute. I apologize, Ben. So what that means is that you are not having to key all of your inspection data into QDM to start the process of now gathering all your measurements that, are, that they're going to automate for you as well. You're, you're getting this information much more quickly, and while you're doing it, you're giving yourself a roadmap or an inspection document, uh, a ballooned drawing that helps the inspector know what needs to be inspected, while at the same time uh, not having to enter any of that data. So it's just all about streamlining to get you started in your process of managing your quality information. Fantastic, fantastic. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take the presenter back from you. All right, I just want to highlight again. So that was authoring and creating your template. So that form that, that uh, Gretchen created an inspection expert goes into QDM, all those ballooned areas is brought in as information, while the, the form itself becomes a template that you can populate with information that you've brought in. Now, Jamie will show you real quick one of the, the data pool setups within QDM, but primarily it's going to show you now how to navigate and select your data and use that to populate one of these forms in QDM itself. So at this time I'm going to pass 
the presenter over to Jamie. Hello. Hopefully you can see my screen in just a moment. That's good. Um, first I start with the completely ballooned PDF of this uh, part drawing that inspection expert can hand over to us. And for this example, I identified just a few of the balloons that I'm going to create some measurement characteristics for in balloons four, five, six, and seven. Um, they appeared on the y-axis of the part. And in the x-axis, we've got balloons 11, 12, and 13. Now, on this slide, we've got an excerpt from the QDM report. Um, what we were, what we were, we got what we were hoping to get from inspection expert, which is a 3D point so that we can measure between them and get some 2D characteristics. Uh, this, these annotations that just show the positions are the 3D points. See these three here, and this one here is a uh, is a measurement between these two corners. That's one 2D measurement in the z-axis. It's not critical though. Um, a couple slides after that, we'll see the actual balloon measurements. This page is also a couple of measurements, um, a couple more corners and peaks of this notch area from 3D and some 2D midpoints between those showing you the trend between the variation of these. Now I'm going to move on to the next slide and show some of the ballooned data. From this front view, we've identified along the measurements on the y-axis, balloons 4, 5, and 6 are shown in the trend chart with variation. Seen this with this call out from this balloon C here. Just real quick, so just to reiterate, what we're looking at right now are QDM reports using the inspection expert data. Yes, we're using, we're using inspection expert data and possibly other methods of data but primarily inspection expert. Gotcha. And we see one more balloon down here, which is the overall dimension in the y-axis, and there's no trend there at all. And we see that on this slide, we've got three more trend charts on the x-axis. And we do see here that there is some variation in balloons 11 and 12. So the length of this is obviously varying with the data that we're getting from inspection expert from the back of the parts of this notch face and again from the back of the parts of the other notch face. But the overall length has no movement. Now we're going to go ahead and use QDM, the template we created on QDM web. All right, let me get the right window here. This is our QDM web interface for an aerospace organization. This is your, uh, this is your, um, excuse me, this is your management dashboard, your high-level reports. You would click on any one of these images for the overall company data, the product type data, we have structures and propulsion systems, plant section data. This location would be Wichita, which has the structures. Portland has the propulsion. And one model which combines all this data. Going into the aerospace high-level report, you'll see this data here is how many features are percent on target, inspect, this is customizable, this term right here. Okay. And we have the CP and the CPK for all the features in that organization. If we were to move to the high level report for the propulsion systems, we'll see a 95%. Now if you can see the structures is 98%. And we are mostly in, involved in this. We're going to be 
putting this part in the structures organization of the plan. So these are just real high level views real quick of all the information we've brought in. It's been analyzed and you can see a recap of how your for your production is is, is going, what the, the quality of your production. Right. The last level of this high level report is is the actual aircraft which combines the features from structures and propulsion. There's no need to show the two cities that the plants are in because they would be identical to each structure, having no other data sources there. So I'm going to move on to just a brief overview of our data poll. This is a setup on how that information, that data is being pulled into QDM, just one particular um, source. Right. We, we start out with, with the database that can take multiple inspections. This inspection is from inspection expert. And the, uh, the input is automated. We get our data from inspection expert. It's placed somewhere in a certain folder, and it's automatically added to the database every time there's new data. And this is our template view for this lower plate. We created just one document in QDM, and then we used it over and over again for other, for other uses. That leads me to auto-publish. We have two auto-publishes set up for this report with different layout styles. We're telling it to go ahead and use the points in the same QDM report, but give us the last three box plot for all the samples in the database. Or, on the other side, last three samples in the trend chart. Just showing here are the automatically published report that you've kind of got set up. So at every particular event that you have set, whether it be by the hour, by every five minutes, or weekly, you have your automatic report set up to, to publish and be ready for you. Yes, we have a we have a very we have a very wide scale of triggers that can be set, whether it's the next job, the next five jobs, or just on a certain hour, give me all the last data for whatever the range is you want to set. Now we're going to go ahead and move into the report navigation and drill down. Uh, this, this page is already pre-filled. Let me refresh that for you and illustrate drilling down to this data for the first time. We're selecting the company information, the product information, followed by which plant and which model. That will give us usually more than one data source, in this case one, followed by a choice of the subsystems and finally, the inspection programs within that. Here, the lower plate is loaded. So we go ahead and we can update our filter <clears throat> and see how much data is loaded to this inspection right now if there are 30 samples available. Before moving on, I wanted to go ahead and show you standard reports that we added through our, our template view. Remember the balloon drawing? That PDF is actually now stored along with this data to be accessed anywhere in the world at any time. As well as first article inspection report. So this is the loop around. So you've actually, reports that were created already from uh, inspection experts or populated templates in QDM can then be brought back in and attached. And these are attached reports that are now part of this subsystem. Yes.
we were talking about this a moment ago, the auto-published reports. The report can launch in the last three sample style as a box plot report. And lastly, another auto-published report is just a mirror image of the same report we loaded to the system, but it's only going to give, <coughs> automatically give three samples every time it's loaded. So this is a stored PDF. that now has three samples, the last three, every time it's run. Okay, now I'm going to actually generate the report with whatever range of data I actually want to show. Here we are now with the same report with eight samples. So you're just demonstrating that there are a number of different templates you can use within QDM system, including the Inspection Expert template for first article inspection reports, AS9102s, and PPAPs that you can generate with whatever selected data you have. And it just takes a matter of moments to create new reports or to store other older reports alongside their, their parts and components. Yes, we can store just about any document, Word, Excel, PDF. Um, there aren't too many limits. Now we're going to now we're going to use the data and send it back to inspection expert for final polish up. Using one sample, which is all we need for the first article inspection, the data set is ready to send to the AS9102, the selected and generated. And that's it. That sends that's it out. So really, we wanted to show just some overviews of some of the dashboards and some of the way you can manage and navigate your data. But really, when it comes down to it, if you just want a single report, all you can do is select a component, select your, your sample you want to use, and hit Generate Report, and it goes right back out to Inspection Expert for final production. All right, Gretchen, we're going to pass it back to you, where you can show us that final touch-up and um, final production of your report. Wonderful. Thank you. All right, so when Jamie created the uh, AS9102 export from QDM, that then allows us to reopen our project that we had before, but now the project has measurement data that's come over from QDM that's been captured within QDM. And so now when we reopen this project, we can see a new little section here where we have all our measurements, our measured data that's come through. And we can see in red or yellow or green, depending on whether the, uh, the measured values are within the tolerance, or in the case of yellow, if they're getting close to the uh, upper or lower limits of the tolerances. Uh, we also uh, can see the yellow, red, or green on the actual print. So we can see on the print, by dimension, what, uh, what the status is of the uh, tolerances, or of the, uh, how, how, whether or not the measured dimensions are actually in tolerance or not. So that's helpful. And then when we publish to Excel, we can publish to, for example, an AS9102, where we have our AS9102 data and can actually see the same information showing up in the completed AS9102 report. And that's perfect for the aerospace uh, community. Or we can publish to a PPAP results report and actually export to that and actually see that information in a PPAP style format report as well. Or as I mentioned before, I can actually publish to any type of report format that I might need. So if my uh, customer has required a certain report format that is unique to them that they want me to use, 
the inspection expert provides a template editor so you can actually take those reports and map our fields into those Excel reports and start using that report format or if you have an internal report format. So we have not only the standard reports that we ship with, like the AS9102 or the PPAP reports, but also the ability to create any custom reports uh, that you would want to put this information into. And then as uh, Jamie and Ben were explaining earlier, this output, the AS9102 reports that we've created in Excel or our PPAPs can then also be attached back into our project files within the QDM interface so we can manage those output files as well. Nice. And that's so, pretty much what I wanted to share. Okay, so you have a, you have a choice of, of then taking the data that, that's brought back to Inspection Expert and producing a number of different quality reports from it. So really you have a lot of versatility with your system and with the ability to select whatever data set you're working with, you can quickly produce a number of different reports that you need depending on what kind of uh, current needs there are. So Exactly. All right. Fantastic. Okay, well, I'm going to uh, take presenter back. So just as a rough overview, so we began with Inspection Expert where we authored that template and we brought that into QDM. We used a data poll in order to bring our information to QDM that we can use to populate the template. We navigated and selected our data and used that to populate a number of different reports depending on what our current needs were, whether it was an update report, particular parts, uh, manufacturing processes, or if we need a quality report such as a PPAP or first article inspection report. And on those quality reports, we then push those populated templates back out to inspection experts so we can do some final touch-up and uh, produce them in the different formats that we need specifically for our company. So from beginning to end, that's our workflow on how to produce and automate your quality report. We have a couple minutes here at the end for questions. It's about 45 minutes after the hour. So we have about five, ten minutes for questions. If anyone has any questions, you can please submit them now. Otherwise, I want to thank everyone for coming and joining us today. You'll be receiving within about 48 hours a recording of today's presentation. So in case you want to review that at a later time or share that with your colleagues. You can, of course, give us a call or email us if you have any additional questions later on or like to see uh, a live demo with your particular information, or if you'd like to see a little bit more about the software or get some more info. So once again, thank you very much for joining us today. I'm going to mute it for just a moment while I check to see if we have any questions coming in. And thank you again.
Fine. Looks like we don't have uh, we don't have any extra questions for this afternoon. So I appreciate it very much. Thank you everyone for coming. I'm gonna go ahead and close the webinar now. You'll be receiving a recording within about 48 hours. I want to thank everyone again for coming and joining us this afternoon for DCS Inspection Experts uh, webinar and using QDM Inspection Experts to automate quality document reporting. Thank you.